Hi, this is Bart Paulson, and this video is a walkthrough of an exercise from Zed Shaw's book, Learn Python the Hard Way. Go to his webpage, learnpythonthehardway.org, and click on Read the Free HTML Online. That takes you to the table of contents, and in this exercise, we are going to look at number 30, else and if. And if you click on that, that takes you to this page. This is an extension of what we did in the last one, which was creating if blocks which uh, execute a command only if a particular condition is met. In this one, it gets a little more elaborate because we provide more than one condition. We say, if this is true, then exercise this. Otherwise, do this, or maybe even otherwise do this third thing. You can set up as many as you want, but this is the uh, text that we're gonna be entering right here. It's similar to what we had in the last one. Uh, we have just a couple blocks, and I'll explain them through you step by step as I go over here to Text Wrangler. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create three variables. The first variable is called people, and we assign a value of 30 to that variable. The second is cars, and it gets assigned a value of 40. And buses gets assigned a value of 15. Now, we're going to be using a command called ELIF, E-L-I-F. That's short for else if, and it's used for uh, applying additional conditional statements to a command. Uh, on the other hand, else is another command, just the word else, and that's used to uh, cover anything that you don't specifically address. So if you have a specific condition, you use if. If you have another specific condition, you use elif. And then for everything else, if you want to, you can put in else. That covers the, all the bases. All right, our first one we're going to use is this. If cars is greater than people, and again, what that means is if the value assigned to the variable cars is greater than the value assigned to the variable people, then execute the next step. Now, um, the value in cars is 40 and the value in people is 30. 40 is greater than 30, so this statement is true. Remember, it's a Boolean truth test kind of thing. So this statement will print. And what it's going to print is, we should take the cars. And because that first condition was true, it will skip these remaining statements. Uh, we have an elif that says, if cars is less than people, we should not take the cars. And else, now the only other situation you would have that is either the two are exactly equal, or if um, it's not possible to compare the two because they're not the same format then you would get this last one that says we can't decide. But because this first condition was true, it'll print that and it'll skip the rest. Our second group is this, if buses is greater than cars. So if the value assigned to the variable buses is greater than the value assigned to cars, it'll print the first line. On the other hand, we have 14 in buses and 40 in cars. So this first statement is false, it will not print, and it will skip down to the next command. In this case, it's LF, and that means else if this, and if buses is less than cars, and 14 is less than 40, so that's true. So it will print this line, maybe we should take the buses, and it will skip the else, or if we had other LFs, you can have lots of LFs. Um, it would skip all of them, because it, it goes with the first one as it steps through. It goes with the first one that's true, and then skips all the rest. So it's going to print this line right here. Our last one is this, if people are greater than buses, so if the value assigned to people, which is 30, is greater than the value assigned to buses, which it is, do this first part, and it'll print out, all right, let's just take the buses, and it will skip the else or anything else that came after that. So all we gotta do now is come over here, and we can type in the word Python. I'm in my, um, I'm currently focused on my working directory that has the scripts in it. And I just have an ex30.py, and there we go. You see this first line here, we should take the cars. That's because 40 is greater than 30. That's And that was the first condition on this one, and it skipped the rest. The second line here, maybe we could take the buses. That's because the if statement was not true, because 14 is not greater than 40, but the lf was true, so it printed this one and it skipped the else. And then this last line here, all right, let's just take the buses. That is from the first conditional. It says if people is greater than buses, 30 is greater than 15. And it skips this last one. Anyhow, what you'll see is this gives you an immense amount of flexibility to have what's called branching commands. You get a lot of possibilities and ways of customizing the response 
of the program to whatever input you have or whatever variables. We're going to be using a lot of these, so take a minute and get comfortable with them, and I'll see you in the next video.